Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use Kali Linux to crack into a WPA2 PSK protected Wi-Fi network using Aircrack and other bunch of tools. It's basically rookie stuff. And if you're just familiar with a few Linux commands, it's gonna be really easy. If you if you are a newbie, it doesn't matter because you can just watch and learn. So first of all, to start we're gonna be trying to figure out our wireless card's name. To do that, we can just go ifconfig, and it says wireless plan zero. Just keep track of that. We're gonna be doing airmon ng start on wireless plan zero. Yours might say wireless plan one or something else. It really doesn't matter. Just remember the name, and you're good to go. So it says found five processes that could cause trouble and unable to start monitor mode, please run airmon ng check kill. And yours might not show this error if you're lucky. And if it does, don't worry. Just do what the system says. Airmon ng check and kill. Now we're gonna be trying to start wireless LAN again. Just press up two times hit enter it's gonna say monitor mode has been enabled for wireless LAN 0 on wireless LAN 0 mon so that's it that's the monitor mode that we have we have just activated yours might just say monitor 1 or monitor 0 it doesn't matter it really depends upon the system and it's different on almost every other system so in mine it says wireless LAN 0 mon I'm gonna be keeping track of that now we're gonna Use aero dump ng on wireless LAN zero more, which means we're this this command right here shows all the wireless routers that are in your range that your laptop or your wireless card is monitoring. And hit Control C to stop the output generation. Choose a target. And currently I'm connected to Netis. And here, there it is. And for the tutorial, I'm going to be trying to crack into a different Wi-Fi, of course. And now what we're going to do here is try and monitor only a particular network, only a victim that we're going to choose. And I choose this one, Wi-Fi, going from channel 11, and here's the BSS ID. I'm going to double click on it, right click and hit on copy. Now we're going to just monitor this network. To do that, we're going to do air row dump ng dash c 11 channel number double dash bss id paste the bss id that we just copied dash w slash root slash desktop slash wireless man zero mon. Now, if you look closely here, we're going to be seeing a bunch of files being generated themselves. See? And you don't want to mess with these files because this is where the password or the passphrase is stored. So let this run. Open up the next terminal. And, and now we're going to be doing airplay ng dash 0 and 2 that's A, that's the access point, that's C, that's the client, any client you can choose from the list, and place wireless LAN 0 monitor. Now what we're doing here is we're sending the authentication packets to this particular client, and as you can see, WPA handshake just appeared right here. If you didn't notice, you can always rewind the video and watch it. And what, what we just did here was we deauthenticated this client. Uh, I suppose it was a mobile phone or a laptop or something. It works on all sorts of devices. We just tried to disconnect this particular client from this router uh, without touching the others. For example, without we didn't touch, we didn't mess with this one. So for a fraction of a second, this device was disconnected from the router. And uh, the device tries to establish a connection again with the router and during that process we can capture a 4-way handshake 
and that's what WPA handshake stands for. Now we have the password in our hands, we just need a good dictionary to crack it. Because it's not in words of course. It's stored in the cat file. Let's clear it all. Now we can type in air crack ng. That's A2 because A2 stands for WPA2. That's B. That's the DSS ID. Copy it. Paste. That's W slash root slash word list. And I'm typing this right here because uh, I'm trying to mention the path to my word list which is slash root and the name is word list of course. And yours could be different, just provide the path to your word list. And dash root slash this top slash asterisk dot path. And asterisk dot cap here represents this file. And if you have many dot cap files stored on your desktop, then you might want to use their name. In particular, for example, that zero one dot cap. Since we don't have any, we can just use asterisk dot cap. Now it's going to be searching for the password. It can take a lot of time, a lot of time depending on the size of your word list. And mine's this long and there must be a password somewhere in this file to for our system to find out and we can only wait and watch and I know it can be really time consuming sometimes the password is a strong one sometimes but sometimes if the, if the password is really weak and common then it can be done just like that within seconds or minutes. I was, my fastest record is of, I guess, 19 seconds, and once I had to wait for like three hours or so just to get all on to a Wi-Fi, which was really slow. Let's see how long this one takes. Mm, time's almost two minutes, and it's tried more than a hundred thousand keys and the rate is twelve hundred keys per second and if your graphics card is strong enough then you're gonna be getting double my speed like three thousand or five thousand you need a good processor and a great graphics card or this is gonna be getting what I'm getting There you go, aircraft is found, it's right here. So you can copy it or note it and use it to connect to your network. Sorry I had to sign out there because my wireless card wasn't responding. It happens sometime and if, if it happens to you just restart and you'll be good to go. But don't forget to make a note of the password before signing out because And I had certainly noted mine, so I'm just gonna select my network. It was Wi Fi, I clearly remember. It's asking for the password. Show text, here we go. Let's connect. Launch a browser to see if the connection is stable or working at all. And there you go. You have successfully cracked a Wi Fi network using Kali Linux. Hey there hackers, uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it like you did the last time when I showed you how you can use a Windows PC to crack into a Wi-Fi network and if you haven't already checked that one out you can always find it in my channel and, and if you are having any kind of problem following my guide or if I wasn't helpful or explaining things well because you know my English literally sucks and I'm trying to get better at it every day Please have patience with me, and um, I have an update. During the air, airplay process, I sent two deauthentication packets to the client, 
and if that doesn't work for you, you if you if you aren't able to capture a WPA handshake, please try and up, upgrade the number of packets to send. For example, if you send two and it didn't work, whatever works for you. Because I too have faced the same problem and two didn't work for me, neither did ten, so I had to take it up to hundred. And I did finally get a handshake. It happens because some routers are very strong with their firewall and so that causes problem. Your wireless LAN card could have named something different than mine. Yours could say WLAN 1, WLAN 2, but mostly it's WLAN 0 always. And if you don't face problem uh, initiating aero dump, that's fine, that's great. And if you do, then I've already told you how to overcome it. And if you face some kind of different problem that I haven't in this video, please leave a comment about it and I will get back to you as well. And one last thing, I should tell you that the larger your dictionary file is, the higher your chances of cracking a network. And of course it's gonna take longer time than a normal sized dictionary, but trust me it also increases the efficiency of your work. I mean, you might have to wait overnight, but you you increase your chances of getting the network's I password. And also another point, I've used Kali Linux 2.0 in this tutorial, but you can use any version of Kali Linux, they all work. And I guess it works, these tools can be downloaded on Ubuntu as well. But I'm not sure about the Ubuntu thing though. And please keep following my channel if you want to check out other Kali Linux tutorials. Thank you for watching.